no longer process any requests to decrypt the volume or verify the password? Today, we're going to be talking about Apple's PDF file that tells you all about Apple's T2 security chip. Most importantly, we're going to be talking about encryption and decryption. In case you don't know, check it out. The T2 chip sits in between the CPU and your SSD drive. Any communication that goes from the CPU to the SSD, the T2 chip automatically decrypts or encrypts the data. What does that mean? It means if you were to unscrew the SSD, rip it out because it's soldered in there and put it in another drive and try to read it, it will all be garbled up because it's all encrypted. There's no way for you to actually get direct access to your data without going through the T2 chip. Now previously in the past, Apple had a magical little port that allowed Apple to access the data inside the SSD drive, but this is no longer available. Well, that sounds good. Okay, you get encryption, you know, things are protected, all your stuff is safe, but there is some malice. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the full exploit, but the full exploit is anyone, like just say your mate has got one of those new, new MacBook Pros with Vega graphics, and you're a bit jelly, you can easily, I mean, yeah, pretty much easily, you can lock them out of their system. And I mean permanently lock them out of the system. You can actually stop them from ever being able to decrypt the data on their drive. They're locked out. Yeah, I'm not joking, come in. Check it out, check it out, check it out. To prevent brute force attacks, when the Mac boots, no more than 30 password attempts are allowed at login window. What that means is, if you type in 30 incorrect passwords, they won't be able to log into their Mac anymore. There are ways around it and you get you do get additional attempts. I'm not going to tell you how to fully lock them out of the system because that would be a bit inappropriate. But if you want to troll your mate, just start typing in random passwords into their Mac and let them enjoy their day. <laughs> anyway, as this is a PDF document and I guess we're not happy about this information, I'm going to show you how to start editing these PDF files. All right, so we're a bit unhappy about this. Maybe what you can do inside preview the app itself, if you go to view and then show markup toolbar, you get some options, you can do some cool stuff. Now the coolest thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a white box. Oh, there's the box. Box, bomb shakalaka, cover it all up. There you go. This page doesn't exist, hit export. We have a PDF file without this security nonsense, done. Now, this is all well and good, but just say you wanted to add a bit of text. Unfortunately, this preview tool falls apart. You can't really join in the text over here. So I'm gonna show you an app called this is a PDF Element Express, and this allows you to actually edit the PDF file. And it actually has a couple of more features I wanna go through. But firstly, if you go here, add edit text, I can actually rewrite this tool. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna say, to cause problems when Mac boots, no more defective filters are made, that's it, that's it. You're done, you're happy. You've now officially updated the document to reflect reality. We hit file, we click export, we can save it to Word, Excel, PowerPoint for some reason, save it as. I'm, a, I'm using the trial version, so you can save with watermark, and I'll show you what that looks like. Number two, replace, boom shakalaka, the file's being saved, and all it does is it adds a little bit of a watermark down here. Of course, if you pay for the full version, you won't get this. Now, if you're clever, instead of hitting the save as button, you can actually just hit export to Word, and right dot word over here that'll actually spit out a word document which is a complete good looking export of the file and look there's no watermarks what's up with that you know i'm exposing security exploits everywhere ain't i um uh, i guess this feature might be patched by the time you see it but it's there for the usage while you can now i gotta say their actual word ex is the best word export i've seen you can export stuff if you use google drive if you put the pdf in there click open with google docs and hit file download as as a doc a word doc but the quality is a bit all over the shop it's uh it looks a bit you know not not high quality i don't know what that is all about there so uh, let me just show you the different versions over here. We've got the, the Word document that we just exported. It looks nice, you get the Apple logo up there. You scroll down, you get to see images. And of course, the Google Drive version is uh, like that. So yeah, it is a very good export system. Now, this uh, PDF element application it is, it is rather basic in functionality. You can, you can insert shapes, you can insert images. 
add in an image, do some cool stuff. Here's something I prepared earlier. Look at that. Not approved, not approved, not approved. This is the Egypt edition of uh, Apple's T2 security chip document. <laughs> sign here. You can sign some stuff. Look, add in a signature. I am the best. That's what I made earlier. Right, that there, done. Everyone's happy. Now, this is a beautiful document I've made. But again, the features are a bit limited. What you can use instead is an application called PDF Element 6. Now, this one's, of course, slightly more expensive. But here, you can do some cool stuff like, for example, forms. Just going to zoom out a little bit. Add in form data. Now, you can add in a drop-down box. You can say, uh, are you the best? And you add in actions, options, yes, no, maybe. You enjoying this? It's a, a good show. Look, are you the best? You can add in like a, a button saying, yo, what's going on in the world? I'm going to say, yo, I'm going to make actions. I'm going to make it open a web link. I'm going to make it go to apple.com. Boom, shakalaka. You hit file. You hit save as. Obviously, save with a watermark. Number two. Hit replace, and you see what it looks like over here. Look, you got a, an option. You can say yes, you can say no, and you got a button. You click it, it goes to the website. So, you know, that's a, a better application. You get more features. You get some cool stuff. For example, you get to protect your form with passwords and stuff like that. And you can also convert this one to Word, except these guys are smart enough actually say when you're using the trial version it will only export a maximum of five pages so if you want to be exporting to word use pdf element express the trial version and enjoy your life until this of course gets patched now the best feature about this applications i have to say and this surprisingly actually works is it's called pdf element 6 pro now with pdf element pro you can actually create pdfs from images now Look, I'm going to import an image here. Now, this is an actual image. If I try to select any text, there's nothing to select. Whereas, it will say, this document appears to be a PDF. Do you want to perform OCR? Now, this image is actually at an angle. It's not directly straight. But if you hit that Form OCR button, click Form OCR, you hit Save. Give it a moment. Hit Finish. Now, this document now, is an actual PDF file, and this is all text. You can actually use these words as text. You can check out this guy's name. It's even detected that this is an email address. You can copy paste this stuff. For example, it's really good for receipts and all this kind of like fun information. I know, I see you, you're nodding your head. You're saying, I don't know that. Well, now you do. If you wanna know the feature differences between all the different applications, you can check out their webpage. I have it somewhere here on my screen. Clearly, I did some research and then I forgot about it. Oh, there it goes. Boom, shakalaka. There's lots of differences between the versions. Basically, uh, the pro version includes extra features, but the standout feature for the pro version is object character recognition. Elements doesn't have it. Pro has it. And uh, the good thing about OCR is it actually sports 29 languages from English to German to French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Japanese, and traditional Chinese. Unfortunately, it doesn't support Arabic as of yet but I am praying five times a day for that feature to occur. So fingers crossed it will happen soon. And uh, that's pretty much it. Express, good for exporting when you're using the trial version. Element to actually do some good, you know, do some good edits. And Pro is pretty much for the OCR. All right, now let's go fix up this Apple document. Yeah, that was pretty good. Looks good to me. So there you have it. We've successfully upgraded our T2 security PDF file. <laughs> <laughs> to support. <laughs> oh man. I'll leave this for Lewis Rossman to go into details about why this is a dumb thing. But yeah, just be careful leaving your Mac lying around because uh, actually I don't know what to think about this. What did you guys think about this? Do you feel safe? Do you feel protected? I know on the iPhone you can set it to automatically format your, your drive if there's a, a maximum number of password attempts made and they've failed. But um, the problem with this security feature is that you can't disable it. It's built in. There's no way to say no. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, Arriba Dirty, Vamos. I'm actually not wearing a suit. I'm just a, you know, gun show. Yeah. I'm just trying to look professional, my friends.